We're going to talk charter schools right now. A lot of reports in the news uh, about uh, charter millionaires and a couple of cases, charter owners looting their schools. Uh, Kathy Hoffman, I'll start with you. Uh, you would have a seat on the charter school board, which is your main lever, it would seem, over this, this mm -hmm. issue. Give us one specific thing you would want to see done regarding Arizona's charter school laws. Well, we absolutely must eliminate the corruption that exists within the charter school industry. And um, for example, we saw recently that one of our legislators was able to profit upwards of $30 million, taking money directly out of our classrooms into his own pockets. And that's the type of corruption that we must eliminate. How? Well, as you said, I, I would not have the ultimate authority that we need. I need to be working with the legislature. I need to be working with the state charter school board to enact these policies. And okay. how can we trust a politician like Frank Riggs, who has personally profited hundreds of thousands of dollars okay. from our charter school I need industry? <laughs> or I want to make sure Hardly. Frank Riggs gets, um, gets his response. Where is that time. money? <laughs> Frank Riggs. That was well, reported well, in the newspaper. How, well, well, oh what, what would you do? What well, first of all, do? let's stipulate that the parents of 188,000 K-12 students have chosen a charter school is the best, most appropriate education for their child, no, number one. Number two, ch charter schools are mainstream in Arizona and here to stay. But what would I do? I've said consistently that we need reforms to charter school governance. As a condition of an initial charter or charter extension, every charter school has to have a majority of disinterested parties, that is to say independent members on their governing board who undergo formal training in nonprofit and charter school governance, acknowledge in writing their legal and fiduciary responsibilities, including their duty to carefully examine any kind of related party transaction to guard against the appearance, if not actual, self-dealing. But we need a second broader reform, Bram. We need ethics reform in Arizona state government. We need to tighten our ethics laws defining a conflict of interest and, and, and prohibit any sitting legislator from, uh, from voting on or proposing or voting on any legislation that would directly benefit themselves, a family member, or a business associate. There. there. <laughs> Frank Rigg and Kathy Hoffman, thank you so much for a spirited debate. Best of luck to you, thank you. in thank you, the Brad. fall. Thank you. Appreciate your time. And you can reach me anytime with your comments. Follow, find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at Bram Resnick, or email me at bresnick at 12news.com. And in case you missed the Phoenix mayoral debate that aired last week on 12 News, you can find it by going to our 12 News YouTube channel. That's 12 News slash YouTube. Dot com. And that's our show for this week. Thanks very much to all of our guests. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here in two weeks. We're off next week for another round of Sunday Square Off.